Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I have one of my favourite videos for you guys today and I am so excited because I have not been into Primark or done a Primark haul since it first opened after lockdown. So this is long overdue and I'm just so looking forward to showing you guys some of the cute bits that I picked up. Now before this video starts I do want to say obviously I know not a lot of people are kind of fans of these videos because of the whole sort of fast fashion thing which I completely understand but for those of you guys who want me to do more of a sustainable sort of haul video I have actually made an order of quite a few things off of Depop recently so within the next week or so there should be a huge Depop sustainable vintage haul coming your way which I'm so excited about honestly don't know why I haven't done this sooner because I've not been able to get off the Depop app for the past week I've literally gone on it every single morning when I've woke up and gone through like all my following to try to find some new pieces because it's so addictive so look out for that video because that will be coming soon but I have two Primark bags here to get through today. Now, I'm not going to lie, my Primark was a little bit disappointing. Usually I can kind of rely on it because they have quite a few clothing pieces, especially my size. Because my Primark is a little Primark and it's usually when I go to the big ones that they have like none of the little sizes left. I can usually really trust my Primark to have like size 4s in. But this time it was rubbish. So I tried to get as many things as possible without just buying things for the sake of it for a haul video. So I hope you guys enjoy this nonetheless, but we're just going to dive in and i'm going to show you the pieces that i picked up on my trip to primark so give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below let me know any videos you want to see from me and we're just gonna get going so i know we're kind of transitioning out of summer into autumn at the minute i mean technically we still are in summer until like the 21st of september i'm pretty sure but the weather's like fluctuating up and down i mean it's sunny right now but it was raining last night so we never know what weather to expect but i saw these sunglasses and they were on sale for a pound so i was like Okay, yes please. But I actually do already own these in black and I tried to find them to show you guys but I just don't know where to put them. But they're like this gorgeous sort of cat eye effect sunglasses and they're like a sort of clear beigey nude colour with like a tortoise shell running through it. The last pair and I was like, are you coming home with me? Because these are one of very little styles of sunglasses that actually suit my face. And at £1, I was not going to leave it there. And I'm very excited to style these, especially because it's a really cute like nude. I mean, this tag really just doesn't add to the effect does it they're a really cute kind of like nude color for autumn kind of like the neutral tone which i'm really into at the minute i'm just oh, i love everything about autumn i mean this background's gonna have to change soon because this is very very summer so if you guys have any ideas of what i can switch this up to do let me know because as pretty as she is it doesn't really fit with the autumn vibe you know what i mean but anyways yeah sunglasses i'm going off topic love these on sale at the minute because they're getting rid of the summer stock so if you're looking for some cute ones go check them out now these ones if you guys watch my birmingham haul you will have already seen but these are again perfect sunglasses for transitioning into autumn because this is a gorgeous burnt orange sort of copper colour. I thought I'd just show you guys these because I did actually see them in my Primark and they do still have them in stock. So if you didn't see the vlog, you're watching this video, then you know now that Primark do these style glasses. These are the really like popular ones which are kind of like dupes for the Chanel or Dior. I don't know, I'm not really into designer. But the really popular ones that like Molly May and everyone's wearing at the minute and like Jess Hunt and that. But I think I paid two or three pounds this. I'm not sure, but definitely under a fiver, which is a bargain because I've seen these glasses on like Amazon go for like 15 quid for one pair and I'm just like, no thank you. These are the glasses in all their glory if you want to see them a little bit more close up. It's like the perfect colour for this upcoming season and I am obsessed. Now this next item, I don't really know, it's kind of an accessory and a clothing item in one, but it is one of the kind of like handkerchief scarf type things. Now these can be worn four ways, it says you can wear it around your neck as a bandeau, as a headband or to attach onto your bag. And I really wanted to wear this as a top because all the ones I've seen in the past have been too small so there's not been enough fabric to tie around my back. But this is actually huge, like I'll open it and show you guys in a minute. And this was meant to be £4 but when I got to the till it was 2 but didn't have like a reduced label on it so I was really confused. But this was like... The the kind of most neutral one I could find. They had a lot of like flowery summery ones in but this was like the only basic coloured one there. So yeah if you guys are wanting to join the whole handkerchief top trend then head into Primark because these are £2 at the minute but it's a really pretty just square piece of fabric basically. Just looks like this, has like a white lining and then it's kind of like a chain link detail I guess. Style it up, style it down, you do you, however you want to style it and for £2 you can't go wrong. Very versatile piece for your autumn wardrobe. <laughs> okay, so this is what the little hanky top looks like on and I am so happy with this for literally £2. I'm sorry, but this is honestly one of my new favorite things in my wardrobe. And then it just ties at the back like so. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's actually just like a little 
double knot bow but I think it looks so pretty. I'm just put on a little gold necklace so you guys can kind of see it styled up I guess. I would prefer to wear this with black mum jeans but I don't have any because the ones I used to have I got rid of because they were too small but I think it kind of works with these jeans. These are Primark as well. These are the vintage straight leg. They're just like the light blue wash ones. Would look really nice if you had like a little black shoulder bag which obviously <laughs> I don't but this is really cute nonetheless and for £2 it's honestly one of my favourite things that I bought so if you guys see these in Primark do check them out because they're a bargain and they make a cute little top now this next thing I actually can't believe I found in Primark but I saw a girl on TikTok do like a mini Primark haul and she showed this bag and that was the main thing that kind of like sparked this and made me want to go to Primark in the first place I wanted kind of like a nude colour one for autumn how perfect is this? If you guys have seen the Prada bag, which everyone and their mum has at the minute, but your gal cannot afford, this is basically a dupe for it from Primark. And it's £8. They do it in black as well, but I was literally so torn between the two. I was stuck with Jack and I was like, which one? But the thing that made me go with the nude was that I haven't really seen one anywhere in this perfect shade. Whereas I feel like I can get a black little shoulder bag anywhere, but this... It's very unique and I'm obsessed. It has the little circle bag on the side which you can put like change in I guess. I mean I don't really carry around change. Probably won't use this for anything. And then it also has just like this little hangy detail but I thought this was so cute and for £8. Come on. How cute is that? Like even with this outfit instantly just switched it up. I'm so obsessed. How bloody cute is this bag? And it also, oh, pardon me, comes with this, which I'm so happy about because one thing I was dreading was it having like a big tacky silver chain because that's what my blue one has. And it's kind of off-putting, especially if you wear gold jewelry like me, that it kind of like ruins the whole vibe. So the fact this has the kind of canvas strap, which you just clip on, is a lifesaver. But then this automatically, if you just adjust it, turns it into one of the little crossover bags. I'm definitely not doing this justice and wearing it correctly but how sweet is that? I feel like this is going to be a bag that I'm going to keep for a long ass time and it can be styled in so many different ways as shown. I mean I only shown two but I love this bag and it's probably the best £8 I've spent in a long ass time so super excited to tell you guys about this because it's honestly a bargain and I feel like a lot of you guys will be as in love with this as I am so get yourself to Primark if you want in a cute autumn little shoulder baguette bag is that what they're called I'm not sure but if you're in love with the Prada bags like me and you just don't have the bank balance to um fund it Primark is gonna be your new best friend with this little beauty I love then I have another bag here to show you guys which honestly couldn't be more opposite to the style I'd just shown you if I tried but this was on sale for five pounds because I'm pretty sure it's like a summer piece they had this in clear like beads as well but that one was still 12 pounds so me being a cheap ass I went for the more cheaper on sale one <laughs> but it is this really cute bead bag they had so many of these but I just loved how like unique this one I feel like if I booked like a last minute holiday which I'm not gonna do because I don't want to risk it but this would be such a cute bag for like a holiday just popping in your stuff to go to the beach because it's super light like expect it to be heavy with it being beads but it's literally so light has a little like flap over so like no one can just dip their hand in your bag like you've actually got a yeah, I just love the colours in this. It's like a really cute yellow, purple, blue and pink kind of like pastel vibe. But I don't know what it is about this. Like you guys may think it looks really childish, but I just fell in love. Pop in your little lip gloss, your keys, whatnot. Especially if you've got like an all white outfit on or an all like nude outfit, like this sort of colour. This would look so cute just to add a little pizzazz. And who's to say you have to wear completely neutral nude colours in autumn? If you still want to wear bright colours, you still wear bright colours, go for it because I'm definitely going to be getting my use and my five pounds out of this bag because it is adorable and I'm obsessed. And it's just, again, an easy way to style up an outfit. But I thought she was sweet and I thought I'd share it with you guys in case you took a like into it like I did and you want to take a quick little last minute trip into Primark to see if they have a on sale. This next item I picked up, Tara actually has and when she showed me I was like oh my god I need that in my life because I've seen people style these with like a big open shirt and like this sort of light wash jeans and I think they look so cute. Now I think the ones they wear are actual like bras but this is a bikini top. I fell in love with the style of this. It's kind of like the crinkle material. I don't know what you call this. It's like a bustier, bustier. Uh, 
I don't know, but it has like the little line down the center of the boob. But it says on the tag that it's meant to be eight pounds and I actually got this at the till for four. And I did try to find the matching bottoms this, but the smallest size they had was a 12, which I was so sad about because then I could have like got like a two in one and wore this as a top under a shirt and also as a bikini. But I'm pretty sure I can just get white crinkle bikini bottoms anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. But I actually picked this up in a size six because it was literally the smallest size they had. But I'm so glad I did because when I tried this on when I got home, it was literally just fitting me so i would kind of recommend you guys to size up if you do see this or if they don't have your size and they have a size bigger just go for it like i did because it was a blessing in disguise it has a little plastic clasp back so it's easy to get in and out of it's not like a faffy tie back or anything like that i'm so excited to style this just a good basic to have in my wardrobe and for four pounds you can't go wrong okay primark can honestly just take all my money at this point because sorry this outfit we're going to ignore the fact that this shirt is extremely creased. It's been done under my bed for the past god knows how many weeks. So she's a little bit crumpled. But this little bikini top bra thing, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to wear it as a top. So it's a top. It's just everything with the jeans and the shirt, the new little glasses, whatever print this is, tortoise, leopard, who knows. But I'm feeling it. The little new bag on the shoulder. Is this not just a vibe? I'm sorry. Catch me strutting about the streets of Dutty Bradford. Yeah, kind of wish I lived in a prettier city to um, wear this outfit in full force, but you best believe you're going to see this on my Instagram. I am obsessed. I feel like such a bad bitch right now. And my bag falls off and ruins the whole effect. But you know what I mean? Like, how cute does this look? And it just fastens at the back. Like, so if you guys can see, oh, my little tag's hanging out there. The back fastens just like a little clasp, like so. Peace out, bitches. Slowly but surely getting to the end of this. But the next thing I picked up was this cute little underwear set. Again, picked this up in an extra small because I don't know why, but Primark don't offer a smaller size than a six to eight in their underwear sets like this, which is kind of a bit confusing, but uh, luckily they still fit me nonetheless. This was a really cute kind of, I think it's called like Marl or Heather Grey. If you guys could feel this, you'd honestly just want to put it on your body right there and then like I did when I fell it in the shop. They also had this in a gorgeous kind of like blush nude pink colour, but I fell in love with the grey. It's a really stretchy like sports bra with a low scoop at the back and then it just has a matching grey thong to go with it and for £5, I'm going to be living in this. But this with joggers would be such a look. It's a really cute, soft, easy basic and like I said, had it in other colours, but the grey just... Call out my name. This is the little underwear set. I am sorry, what? This top really, really reminds me of those Urban Outfitters ones. And they're like this soft ribbed cotton material. I could not be more in love. It has a really pretty low scoop back as well. If I can show you guys, it's about flesh in my uh, flat ass. But it goes like really low and scoops really nice on the back. It's such a gorgeous colour. I'll show you up close without flashing myself but this is just such a soft fabric i feel like if you had like bigger boobs than me as well it'd be really nice because you'd get a bit of side boob through the side but obviously i don't have the facilities for that but these are honestly so comfy this fit is so wow and then the last thing i picked up i was really like um and an hour in when i saw it it was the last one in my size that i could see there and then in the store i felt it and i was like oh my god it's so soft when i held it up against me in the shop it looked like the waist was literally going to be like at my boobs and then the legs were going to be too long but i just took a risk anyway it was the last one in my size it was 13 pounds and it is these gorgeous gray soft knitted kind of cotton i don't even know what this fabric is but like wide leg trousers i am so glad i bit the bullet or whatever the saying is and bought these because they're honestly my new favorite pants if you guys like know the scene from friends where she's like these are my apartment pants that is how i feel about this because i got home tried these on and oh my god <laughs> Jack can vouch for this but I was honestly running around the bedroom like a mad woman because it's the first time I've found like flared wide leg trousers that actually flatter my tiny ass legs and itty bitty booty. £13, this is literally like miracle pants. And I don't know if they do this in any other colours but if you guys have seen this in like a black or any other colour in your Primark, let me know because I need to get there ASAP Rocky because these are honestly the best things I've put on my body in a long ass time. I'm so excited to show you guys these on. But like you'll see what I mean because when I hold them up like this the crotch is like here so i held the crotch up in the shop and i was like right that's not gonna fit me but i risked it anyway but they're so nice and tight usually when i get things like this that don't have an adjustable waist they kind of have like a little bit of gaping on the back but 
these literally fit like they were made for my body so if you guys are using your primark please pick them up because you will not be disappointed and i am honestly so excited to live in these for however long these next autumn and winter months last i freaking love autumn fashion so much i'm so excited <sighs> okay primark really pulled it out the bag with these trousers oh my god is this not the cutest fit you've ever seen in your life with this little underwear bra crop top whatever you want to call it it's so nice they're kind of the same color just different tones or shades whatever you want to go with i'm going to try my best to show you guys these in full length but they're really nice flattering flowy gray cotton pants like i said the waist is super tight so i don't have the awkward gaping at the back or anything like that it makes my non-existent flat little booty look good and i'm in love i'm so excited to wear these with air force and a little bag it's gonna be such a vibe literally this whole outfit that i'm wearing 18 pounds because uh i still got the knickers on from before <laughs> but i'm in love i have literally nothing else to say but go buy yourself these trousers they're such a fab length as well because like i said i was so scared of these being too long i'm 5'3 for reference and you know i'm wearing them quite high up but they literally just touch my toes so when i put them on my trainers it's like the perfect length they don't drape or do anything like that but they're amazing i'm obsessed i love these trousers so much primark i love you i freaking love you honestly being a tiny size four primark is one of the only places i can properly rely on for clothes to actually fit me especially bottoms so you can understand how excited i'm about these and once this video is done, I'm just going to run about the house in this and show off everyone my new cool little pants. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a huge thumbs up and also look out for my Depop video, which I'm equally as excited to film and just for the products to arrive. I'm so excited. Without further ado, I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, let me know the videos you want to see from me down below. Subscribe, turn on post notifications, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. S O S never guess cuz I know mama told me that I'm blessed but he never wanna show get impressed cuz I'm dope you don't smoke what you mean keep it potent as the green so you know this happy tree